So, I'm Lucy Hawkins. Um, I have my own show on BBC World News. Uh, but many moons ago, I was in the first graduate class of the Bachelor of Communications here. This building didn't exist, but we were down on Merrill Drive. And so it's really nice to be back here and to speak to you all about what's happening in journalism at the moment and what's happening in the world. There's nothing more exciting right now than uh, journalism because the world is such a fascinating place. It is um, incredibly challenging in terms of uh, expectations of our uh, viewers and people who listen to us and people who click on us online because we have so much competition right now. I've never in my 15 years at the BBC been in a period of time that has been so intensely editorial and that we always had editorial meetings but right now they, the things that we have to consider in this post-truth world that we're all living in have you know, never been more varied and disparate. And obviously Donald Trump is a big part of that. When you have someone who is the president of the, state, the United States who thinks that we are the enemy, has called us the enemy, um, whose chief strategist actually calls the media the opposition party. Uh, he's come out and said, and I'll show you a clip soon, that um, the BBC is fake news. It becomes very challenging when he is driving the news agenda and we have to think about how to cover him. So we can talk more about that as well. The Where are you from? Uh, BBC. Okay. Here's another beauty. It's a good line. <laughs> Impartial, free and fair. Yeah, um, sure. So for us at the BBC, it's a fascinating time to explain to people how the world is connected and how the opinions of young people in France who might vote for Marine Le Pen are the same or different from Trump. And also trying to find a common ground. Like I've sat down, when I was in the States covering the election, when you talk to hardened Trump supporters as a journalist, it's actually quite hard to find a space where you can come together because there's just nowhere, there's no common ground, you know, and, and I'm trying to be impartial, but between, you know, him and me, even finding that space to get a decent soundbite that doesn't, that truly reflects how they feel, because these are decent, hardworking, nice people without making them seem rabid, can also be really challenging. So as a journalist, it's a really, really interesting time to be covering the world. This is a BBC News US election special. I'm Lucy Hawkins, broadcasting to our viewers in the UK and around the world from Capitol Hill in Washington. So this is still at the heart of what we do, breaking news as well. So um, we have something, we break more stories than any other network. We're more tweeted than any other network on breaking news. So there's, this is always going to be your bread and butter every day, what's breaking. But we've also launched something called Slow News. <laughs> And slow news is investigative reporting, essentially. That's the old-fashioned word for it. Uh, attempting to show people what is at the heart of a story, why it matters to people, where the connections are, and to put big stories into context. So um, it couldn't be more different almost than, than this, where you're responding to a situation in any given day, and then a whole team of people in the newsroom working on slow news as well. So those are the two of the big things that we're doing as well. And in terms of building trust with our audience, reminding them that they can come to us for something, for you know, the, the, the truth, um, we do this all the time. And uh, we are inundated with people wanting this, wanting to know what is being said and how much of it is factual, how, how much of it isn't. So the other thing that I think is really interesting is for us about not choosing whether or not to get emotionally involved in a story. I think at the heart of every story that you do, it's got to be about people, you know, and um, I don't know what you feel the big issues are facing New Zealand. I mean, you're, the economy here is booming, everyone says you're doing well, but I mean, there's still, I know, huge poverty. There's income disparity in this country like there wasn't when I lived here. Uh, there's questions about immigration and what it means and who's living, who's getting to move here and who isn't. Um, there's not a lot of, I mean, the political scene's a bit dire, isn't it? Uh, from what I can tell. Um, I mean, I think there are some amazing stories here for you guys to tell. Um, and um, I, yeah, I, I hope that it all goes well over the next few years as you finish up here and go out into the